Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Today we're talking about a very prevalent and unfortunate part of the ham radio hobby. Uh, some people call them lids, I just call them grumpy old men. So what are we talking about here? I was doing a YouTube live stream on New Year's Eve and I had a very unfortunate interaction on 14.247 with two operators in particular. The first guy is KU2G, Kilo Uniform 2 Golf. Uh, his name is Jimmy Duggins and he lives out of New Jersey. And the second operator was KN3X Joseph Medley, also out of New Jersey. Now, uh, I was operating a pretty big pileup. Uh, some of you may have been watching live that are watching this video now. Um, 10 or 20 stations trying to come back to me. Conditions were really, really good for us here in the Midwest. And then um, there was a net due to start. Before I even go into the story, it was actually all recorded uh, live. So uh, I don't have to tell you, I can show you. Uh, roll the tape, roll the tape, roll the tape. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed it there in the last go around. What's my report uh, out east tonight, over? It's uh, KU2G, uh, uh, what's with the net today? Uh, this guy, he comes up every day and try the same rubbish. Get on uh, the net frequency. We've been here for 30 years, but we don't own no frequency. But this guy, he, he's, he's, he's evil, this. he's an evil old man. He always just trying to just mess up the net. So I'll be standing by, KU2G. Why don't you ask me to move? I've been here for three hours, but yet you haven't tried to contact me. I don't, why should I? You know our net's up here every day. We talk to you every day about the same rubbish. You haven't talked to me every day, and I don't know when your net is because, as I said, it really isn't in the front of my mind. KU2G, KN3X, uh, good afternoon, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, Jojo. This guy, he gets up here every other day. Can you believe these guys? The same thing, some of us streaming, uh, some kind of contest, knowing that we have a net up here. It can't be carried. Uh, I just don't understand it. Some people, but you know, uh, I'm not going to let it upset me. I'm too smart to get pissed off, go ahead. I don't understand common courtesy and how some people lack it and uh, just can't understand how to communicate. So I will QSY because uh, I don't want to deal with you guys. K0LWC, QSY. Wow. I mean, wow. Uh, these two operators, uh, Jimmy and Jojo, as it were, um, are really putting on a display of how not to be a proper ham radio operator. Uh, I'm not sure what they were thinking. Uh, they kind of talk out of both sides of their mouth and mostly we're talking about Jimmy here, um, about, it's true, nobody owns a frequency in ham radio. Uh, you know, we have to be courteous to one another and who's ever there and has it first generally has the right to it. But if somebody comes along and says, hey, can you move or you're causing interference a couple down or whatever it may be, uh, you move. I mean, that's just general good operating practice as an amateur radio operator. Uh, but again, these two did not do that. There was a net due to start. I was there for an hour beforehand operating and they never came on to ask, hey, would you mind moving? Because guess what? I would have moved. I would have no problem with that. That's being a good ham radio operator. Uh, these two instead, about five minutes before the net starts, come in and start yelling, screaming, making up crap that is completely not true, that I'm in there every single day harassing them, causing interference, messing with their net, completely false, not even close to reality. But then again, the brain does funny things as you age. So maybe it's just a little senile, I don't know. Um, but they're just making up stuff, causing a ruckus, trying to drive me off the frequency. So it's right, they don't own 14247. Uh, and I had every right there to operate uh, since I was there for an hour beforehand. But the claim that I'm supposed to realize there is a net there, again, ludicrous. There are so many nets across so many frequencies. Some of them are every day. Some of them are once a week. Some of them are at different times on different weeks of the month. I mean, again, nobody understands and knows what the net is on a given frequency. That's why when people come on and ask you to move, you just move. So a couple tips for you new hams out there so you can not end up like these two clowns out of New Jersey. Um, when you first get on the air, make sure you hop on 
and give your call sign and just ask, is this frequency in use? I would also recommend bring up an SDR, particularly uh, the Utah SDR has a really great SDR with a log periodic antenna. Uh, that's gonna pick up a lot of signals. If you hear nothing on the Utah SDR and your own receiver, uh, and you do two calls checking to see if it's in use, it's probably wide open and clear, and you can go ahead and use that frequency. Number two, if you're operating like I was, and somebody comes in and lets you know that maybe you're uh, kind of close to some DX that has come up, uh, maybe there's a net starting on that frequency, uh, if they just politely come in and ask you to move, just go ahead and move. I mean, it's just being courteous. Like, that's what we're supposed to do. Um, so if that happens to you, make sure you uh, go ahead and move. Because again, if the tables were turned, you'd probably want that person to respond in the same exact way. Number three, understand that even if you do these two things, particularly the first one, that doesn't even mean you're completely safe. What I mean by that is uh, propagation can shift. You can have a clear frequency and be working it for 20 or 30 minutes, an hour or two hours, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, propagation changes and somebody comes up and you tell them, hey, I've been on this frequency, you know, please QSY, and they'll tell you the same thing and you both could be right. Um, propagation changes all the time. So just because it was clear and it has been clear, doesn't mean that somebody couldn't come up out of the noise all of a sudden. And then again, you guys can figure it out like gentlemen from that point. But the reason I feel compelled to make this video is because operators like this exist in ham radio. And it's unfortunate. I mean, they just, are generally spewing crap all the time and kind of really suck the fun out of the hobby, especially for newer people um, that get discouraged because they hear yahoos like Jojo and Jimmy. Um, so don't be a Jojo and don't be a Jimmy. Uh, be a better ham radio operator than these two. Uh, understand about being courteous and being kind to your fellow operator and just having good operating procedure on the air. Uh, and remember, Nobody owns a frequency, but again, it's up to us to be courteous to one another and not come in and start talking over and trying to take over a frequency when nobody owns a frequency. So uh, there's just some tips for the new hams out there. And also I wanna make sure that it's publicly known uh, of the terrible operating uh, that Jimmy and Jojo are displaying on the air. It's just so disappointing uh, to see that in amateur radio. So if you haven't, subscribe to this video, give it a thumbs up. We'll get this video around to more ham radio operators around the world. And uh, thanks so much for watching. So I'll catch you again next time.